Welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Brywood alongside Mark Finnegan with the men's tennis at the University of Memphis. And Coach, a very uh, neat time of the year for tennis uh, enthusiasts, tennis fans, and the sport in general in the city of Memphis. Uh, you guys are in the middle of your season. You've got a big match coming up this weekend in Nashville. We'll talk about later. You're just coming off a couple of matches here at home, but also the Pro Tour is coming to Memphis as well. So kind of an exciting time, the amateur and the pros. That's right, Jeff. Always just a great time of the year. Um, in the past, in the history, we've uh, ended up playing Vanderbilt always on that Friday evening before the pro tournament starts. And on that Friday evening, we've usually had an announcement of one of our guys ending up getting a wild card into the qualifying of the of the of the pro tournament at the rec club. So it's always an exciting time of the year this this time. And uh, in the last two years, we've had guys represent us really well at the tournament. And uh, just hopefully, maybe it can happen again this year. And uh, and. Uh, everything so it's kind of special too because sometime you forget you're over there playing and, and you don't think about it but now the, those players get to think I'm playing on the same facility the same courts that these high-level professionals play at. that's right I mean that's our goal always when the guys come in and is, is you know to get them feeling comfortable in that environment and it, it's great every year for four years they get a chance to to be around the highest level of, of uh, professional tennis and it makes them feel more comfortable and when we go out in the fall semester sometimes we go play semi-professional tournaments um, that a lot of college players go to play is they definitely feel a lot more uncomfortable in those environments since, they, since they've been around that pro tournament all week into February so well, you played last week against Murray State in Southern Illinois but first of all you're coming off a fairly lengthy break but you guys got back to school probably just got back into your routine yeah we did we had actually a great um, about two week break there where we just went really hard in the gym went really hard on the practice courts and we kind of got back to some of the some of the basics that we, we we kind of like did a good job at the start of the year but maybe weren't quite doing as much as we wanted to do so it's been an absolute phenomenal 14 days of training and then we came in with a double header against Southern Illinois and Murray State and uh, really played well on that day we, we were undefeated I had a couple of bagels and a couple of matches 6-0 6-0 with Lucas the freshman so so really it was a good day all round and um, it got us really ready for Vanderbilt Rancho Lucas, you got any other guys you want to highlight from that sweep? Yeah, I mean, um, David O'Hare, obviously, they had great. He's been playing great, and uh, he's undefeated so far in the year. Joe Salisbury's undefeated on the year so far, too, as well. Connor Glenn is doing a phenomenal job at number one. Really, Johnny Grimald, everyone's doing a great job. Um, David O'Leary, I, honestly, this last 14 days has been the most for positive 14 days for our program in, a, in, in, in quite a while, and uh, we really feel like the sweep of, of Southern Illinois and Murray State is going to give us some good momentum going into Vanderbilt. So you, you talk about Vanderbilt, that'll be one of your tougher matches this year. You're going to go up there, they're ranked 40th in the country, and you have them in Nashville. Yeah, yeah, and we've had a great match with them last year. Um, we won 4-3, we were down 3-2 uh, with uh, Johnny Grimal and um, our senior from last year, Leon, was on the court. And Leon saved some match points, went on to win that one to make a 3 all, and then Johnny had a phenomenal win in the third set to close out the match 4-3 and to beat Vanderbilt. It had been a long time, Jeff, since we'd beaten Vanderbilt, so that was pretty um, satisfying. So going up there, I'm sure they're going to want get, to get some revenge on us, but uh, hopefully what we can do is we can get that momentum we had from last year, and we feel like we're a much improved team from last year. So hopefully, you know, they're a top 40 team, but we feel like we're ready to take them down. So. Well, if you're an improved team from last year, that really bodes well for you guys this spring. Well, we definitely, we're a definitely improved team with our talent, but still we're, we're still having to put all the little pieces together uh, we're getting better at doubles every day, but uh, yeah, for sure, you know, we have big expectations for this team this whole year, and um, we've, we've always expected them to even improve on what a great year we had last year. So, Talking about going to Vanderbilt again and the, and the spring semester and the improvement off of last year, but how, how does the team handle that now? Are they pretty confident? Do you see them putting any pressure on themselves? Are they pretty business-like about how they go about things? Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's a daily, everything daily, you know. Um, we try to bring everything to practice 100% with effort and attitude every single day. Um, when you stop doing that, it doesn't matter how good your talent is, because anyone can win in college athletics on the day. So, But uh, every day, it is a grind just to keep trying to bring it 100% with the effort and attitude. And if we keep doing the right things and we keep trying to do the things that we can control, we should be in good shape, and, and we're going to keep improving as a team as, as the year goes along. So. All right, well, Coach, we appreciate it. Best of luck up in Nashville this weekend. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. That is Mark Finnegan with Men's Tennis. I'm Jeff Frywell for the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.